Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a little bit more complex formula, the offset match. Now this is something you may not have heard of, but this is hands down probably one of the most powerful tools when you're trying to build out any form of model, um, if it's a summary tab, anything like that. It's incredibly flexible and incredibly useful. So we'll go ahead and we'll get right into it. So what we have here, this is just some made up data that I typed in just some fake numbers here and then calculating some growth rates based off um, the numbers over there um, just for something to use here. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to recreate this table on the offset match tab. And while that may not seem that all that exciting, I'll show you at the end here why it is such a powerful tool. Um, so first, what you have to do on your on your data is you have to structure it and you have to number the rows and columns. So it is a little bit different. And if you have a file, you could always just make these white so they didn't show up and no one could see them. But then you just start at one and we'll just go ahead and we'll type in the row numbers here. Then after we have that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and come here and we're gonna number this one through five. And these are gonna be kind of our, our references for looking up against. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we'll come over to our F offset match tab, and then we're just gonna kind of copy over our numbers here. Um, so really, we just want the fields that we calculated. Um, so we'll just go ahead and type in one through 12 for now, or seven through 12, and you'll see why here in a minute. And then over here in column A, we're gonna go ahead and add one through five. Actually, let me move this down one. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and um, let's pull over company just so we have the header. And now we're going to go ahead and actually implement the formula here and show you a little bit about how this actually works. So it's so me equals offset. And the first one here is the reference. So what the reference cell is, is this is kind of the anchor point where we're counting from per se. So on this one, we're counting from company. This is kind of the first cell and then you can see one is right after it, two, three, four, um, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this is really like our, our reference point for where we're counting how many rows and how many columns we wanna move out. And we're gonna actually go ahead and um, we're gonna lock this cell and now, We'll go ahead and put a comma. And for here, what we're doing is since right now we're trying to pull over the headers, um, we're actually gonna put a zero here because it's asking for rows. So how many rows do we wanna move down to bring in the data? And the answer here is zero. We wanna be in the same row as that offset or as that, that reference point. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put a zero here and we'll hit comma. And what we're gonna do now is we actually wanna enter in the match. So for match, you're gonna go ahead and type match. And now this is gonna say your lookup value. So the lookup value here, we want seven. This is what we're looking up. And we're gonna actually lock the three here so we can drag the formulas. And then it's gonna say the lookup array. So for the lookup array, that is gonna be these numbers here. And then we'll go ahead and lock that. And we're gonna go ahead and do zero. And then we're going to close all of this off. And you can ignore, you'll see here there's height and width. You can ignore those two for doing an offset match. And then when we go ahead and hit enter, if we did this right, number seven should be 2021 revenue growth. So you can see that is bringing in the correct header. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and copy this over. And if we locked our formulas correctly, see what's going on here. Well, it would help if I knew how to um, type. So that'd be a nine, that'd be a 10, that'd be 11, and that would be a 12. Now all of those headers get brought in appropriately. So now that we have that, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the same thing, but for the company. And I'll walk through this formula again, um, just so it might feel a little bit more familiar to you. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go equals offset. And the first one is that reference. This is kind of where we're gonna start counting from. So for this, we're gonna start counting from that same 
top left corner of our data set, which is company. Um, then we're going to go ahead and do a comma. And now it's going to say rows. So how many rows down do we want to copy? So we're going to go ahead and hit match. And then say our lookup value. So for this, our lookup value is actually this one. We want the first company. Um, we'll go ahead and lock the A there. And then the lookup array, this is what we're looking up against. So we're looking up here, one through five. We'll go ahead and lock that. Go ahead and do a zero. We want an exact match. You're always going to want an exact match for this formula. Then when we close that, so that's returning how many rows to count down from company, from your reference. So now the next argument is going to ask for columns. Um, and we actually don't want to move down any, we don't want to move over any columns. So we're actually just going to put a zero there. And then we're going to go ahead and close that. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you'll see you get company A. We can go ahead and do that. We can actually delete that row. So now it's looking like we are going to be able to pretty quickly kind of recreate this table. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what's so great about this? What's the point of this? Um, and I'll show you here in a second, but real quick, like if you want to just change this quickly, say actually you don't want seven anymore, you want 10 and then you want nine and then you want six and then you want five and then you want 12 and then you want three. Um, you just literally change these numbers and everything updates here. Um, and we'll go back through this here in a minute and I'll show you why this is actually really powerful when you're, um, once we get the, the data populated as well. So for this, um, very similar, we're going to just go ahead and do an equals offset. And now the reference, once again, this is going to be the cell. This is kind of the, the top left of our data set. We're going to lock that. And then how many rows do we want to go down? So for this, we actually don't have to do a match. We can actually just select the cell right over here. And we're going to freeze this. And then now for the columns, we're going to select seven. Um, this cell up here, we'll go ahead and freeze the three here. And then now we can go ahead and close this and that, um, once we format all of this, we'll actually return company A 2021 revenue growth. So if we go 2021 company A revenue growth, 7%. So let's go ahead and just copy this formula real quick. So now we have that and the whole table is created and you're like, great, you literally just recreated the data tab. What's so great about that? What's so special? Well, what's awesome here is say you want to change the order of things. You can just come in here, type a few things and everything updates appropriately. Um, and why this is so much better, sometimes, you know, you might be using like an index match or something and you, or a view lookup to return a specific thing, but then you're like, oh, well now actually in my table, I want this to be somewhere else. I don't want that, that data here. You can quickly just change these rows by just updating the numbers at the top and everything flows through. You could come back to your data set. You could add more companies in here. Um, and you know, you could expand this list down to six if you wanted, for whatever reason, say you wanted these sorted by revenue growth, right? You could do five and then for, like whatever, whatever the appropriate order would be, you could change it here. So it's sorted by revenue growth because you don't want to add a filter to it, something like that. It, it makes it super easy to just dynamically update your, your data tables and your kind of outputs here. Um, and it's really powerful. We'll go through some more examples in some later videos about creating benchmarking graphs and charts, um, super useful in kind of the finance field and the offset match is kind of the key to being able to really build those, um, easily and quickly. So, um, Thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and useful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Happy to walk through um, and answer any of those in more detail to help you get this set up and working in your files. Thanks so much. Have a good one.